purpose of this research is to exploit the existing potential difference between wasted waters pre- and post-purification in order to generate direct current through a galvanic cell. The water coming into the purification plant is poor of oxygen, the one coming out is rich of it. We simulated the two types of water uh, by preparing a stock solution with high concentration of pollutants and a dilution of it, which resembles the purified liquid. In order to reproduce the, the different oxy oxygenation states, we insufflate the nitrogen and air. Purified electrode in each solution and connected the two semi cells to a voltmeter. The oxygen rich semi cells happens to be the positive one, while the oxygen poor one is the negative pole. The pH value of each solution results uh, slightly alkaline. In the following experiment, we respectively acidified and basified the two solutions in order to try different operating conditions. The average potential difference is 65 millivolts. We hypothesized the possible reaction for each condition. In an alkaline environment, the dihydrogen sulfide oxides uh, to sulfides and sulfates. In uh, an acid environment, it oxidizes to elemental sulfur. Experiments have shown that it is possible to exploit the different oxidation states of the chemical species and the diverse oxygenations of wastewaters before and after the purification process in order to produce direct current. The cells operating conditions shall be modified to research, to research the circumstances under which the system, the system works the best. While the obtained potential difference is quite low, it would be possible to increase it by using an adequate number of cells and the enhancing the system's functioning. The ultimate goal is to practically utilize our research in the industrial realm, granting the energetic self-sufficiency of the purification plant.